Hello people, we are here, we are here back at the channels Tapaulio Azul and Super Academico with this week with uh, another part of the, the reading of this book New Rules of Sociological Method by Anthony Giddens We go into the fourth video on this subject I hope you are enjoying this playlist and uh, if you are not subscribed subscribe to the channel please do subscribe to the channel ring the bells for notifications and uh, uh, give the like for us for our videos and also uh, share in comments and take a look at the description for other things that we have to offer as contents so today I'm going to bring for you in this book the theme uh, of the significance of interpretative sociologies the significance of interpretative sociologies continue with the chapter about uh, uh, ethnomethodology the chapter one some schools of social theory and philosophy so let's see what highlights i made for this chapter for this part of the book in their writing who's writing ah others in their writing um, heidegger gadamer hiko and others a hustle too in their writing existential existential phenomenology moves considerably closer to the standing point independently involved by the later Wittgenstein so he's saying uh, uh, Giddens is saying that these authors uh, goes uh, very close to what Wittgenstein says says in his latest latest work later work later works uh, better so uh, this means that uh, it's it's is taken into account the question of language uh, as a main problem as the main problem in philosophy in the 21st in the 20th century <coughs> and uh, uh, reaching the other sciences uh, the other human sciences the particular experiential the particular experiential form in which common sense common sense thinking takes cognizance of the social cultural world so uh, the particular experience of everyone in the common sense are uh, uh, influenced in the social world in the cultural world practical theorizing of lay people cannot merely be dismissed so uh, as is uh, it has been saying has been said uh, in the other parts of the book the the common people uh, lay people need to be heard in their formulation and their uh, in a way that uh, they understand their lives the centrality of power in social life even a transient conversation between two people is a relation of power to which the participants may bring unequal resources of course this uh, relation of power means that one person can influence the other in a more efficient way and uh, uh, because they are not equals in the way that they don't have the same kind of uh, abilities of influence uh, the influence abilities well then it goes to hermeneutics and critical theory Gadamer, Appel and Abermas uh, Jürgen Abermas uh, is an author that I already mentioned in this playlist he's a German philosopher very influential in this uh, second half of the 20th, 20th century and even today in the 21st century uh, he mentions Wittgenstein again with the philosophical investigations that is the, his later uh, work 
he says that uh, interpretative understanding may be a useful adjunction adjunction to social social sciences as a source of a hypothesis about conduct so uh, in the way that I see the interpretative way of looking the society makes sense in the way that the the researcher né, the social social scientist uh, is able to make the his interpretation alongside with the interpretation of the people uh, about the, the the subject about the matter and develop in this case uh, that what he's saying hypothesis hypothesis about the problem that uh, when you have a big theory a meta theory about everything like uh, the, the marxian theory or the Weberian theory uh, you, you have the first you have first the theory the big theory and, and then you apply this theory to a specific uh, situation and here it's been valued the the way that every every person every, everyone uh, including lay people né, common people they interpret the situation understanding a text from historical period remote from the present for example or from a culture very different from our own is according to Gadamer essentially a creative creative sorry creative process in which the observer through penetrating an alien mode and alien mode of existence enriches his or her own self-knowledge through coming to grasp the perspective of others so uh, in the way uh, every time that you are in touch with a uh, different culture you understand better your own culture since uh, since you don't don't see as a threat to your culture uh, the understanding of human things works of art literary texts uh, via the hermeneutic circle is not Gadamer says Gadamer says to be seen as a method rather it is an uh, it is it is the ontological process of human discourse in operation in which through the meditation of language life mediates life no mediation sorry through the mediation of language life mediates life uh, again when you exchange information with someone uh, in a different culture uh, someone different someone different uh, and you you tend to learn learn more about uh, what the other person knows what, what the other people other person believes so this makes this circle this hermeneutic circle possible and that's why i think he doesn't see the hermeneutic circle as a method is more like a, a way to be that that what means to be ontological process of human discourse in operation because we are this way we are uh, we are we are all we all are people that communicate communicate with each other the progress of the progress of human self-understanding moves towards freeing individuals from bondage to causality in which their behavior appears as just another series of events in nature by spending the scope of free action so this uh, this statement stands to a, a way to see the the human life and the way that we live the way that we understand our living in this life in this planet uh, in a, in a more meaningful way not in a metaphysical matter but in in a way that we understand better what we do uh, because uh, why we do so this I, I think I understood this way uh, our actions are more 
are, are more uh, acknowledged by us since we can understand our actions uh, in, a, in a way more uh, elaborate than in simple nature. Um, meaning equivalence that the interpretation of human product or action is adequate in relation to the intentions of its originator. According to Gadamer, hermeneutics is not a method, we already said that, and it cannot generate accounts that can be adjudged as correct or incorrect in terms of what an author meant to communicate to the text. So uh, when you do the interpretation, uh, it's not like you find the answer you are looking for. You just understand what the the the, <coughs> the author said. That's why it's interpretative. Uh, interpretative uh, in, uh, interpretative significance. The meaning of a text does not reside in the communicative, communicative intent of its creator, but in the mediation that is established between their work and those who understand it from the, it from the context of a different tradition. So, uh, he's saying that it's possible for us today to understand something that was wrote centuries, millennia, uh, millennia ago, because we are able to connect to this language mediation and practice this interpretation, uh, practice this understanding, that is hermeneutics, it's a, uh, like a translation in a way, translation of meaning, not just the, the, the words. The circumstance of being written down in basic is basic to the hermeneutic phenomena. A text gains an existence of its own detached from that of its author. That he's, he's saying that, uh, as I understand, uh, a text uh, is a expression of a culture or of a time. And despite of what the author wanted to say, what we understand must be valued too. What else? He mentions Chomsky, Noam Chomsky, concept of linguistic, linguistic competence, intersubjective phenomenon, meanings are not merely abstract features, features of the linguistic equipment, equipment of individual person, but are intersubjectively produced in interaction or dialogue. So he's valuing, again, the way that we communicate through dialogues. I think I jumped forward something. I think I, think I did that, sorry. <laughs> I jumped a page. Let's see what's here. I think it's just a reassurance of, we already said, no, no, it doesn't matter. Should not be here. Yeah. Another two. Yes, okay. It's not affect the, the interpretation that we're doing. And finally, in the last page of the chapter, he mentions Abermas, as I said before, the interpretation of intentional action. So all action are intentional. Characterization or identification of acts logically depends upon the identification of the purpose for which they are undertaken. So uh, when a group or people or a person do something, this something, this, this action has a meaning for, the, for them, uh, the, the ones they are doing, and uh, this the, the 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 others that we will see and think about this action will make another interpretation so this is like a a game of uh, interpretation and communication and 
possibility of uh, self-understanding for uh, the ones that do the action or do the, the text, the, the, the speech, and the ones that listen or see the action. According to Abermans, work and interaction follow rationality rationally. According to Abermans, work and interaction follow rationally reconstructable reconstructable partners partners which are logically independent of one another uh, I think he's, he's saying that uh, everyone that constructs and uh, that makes his own interpretation of of his action of his one's action makes uh, uh, an interpretation that's logically correct uh, on his own uh, in separate ways independently of what the other thinks so when i act in a way that i believe is right in certain central uh, situation uh, or the other person that sees the action or hears about the action uh, may not feel the same but it will be able to understand but uh, the this understanding is independent from the original action so this is like the the, the possibility <laughs> of the interpretation is different from the action and it's not it doesn't mean that it's wrong or the action or the interpretation it's, it means that are independent and the last statement the transformation of nature by human activity infused solely by instrumental reason nor is interaction oriented merely to mutual understanding or consensus but to the realization of ends which not infrequently are exclusive of one another so uh, I think the message here, the main message here about this, this interpretative significance, it means that every action, everything that happens, everything that we do as people, uh, not necessarily has to be in the same way understood by others, especially the social researcher. So I think I think uh, it's a good message because us and uh, uh, we, the social researchers, sociologists, anthropologists, political scientists, even psychologists, we tend to make a, a interpretation of this this uh, of every kind of a situation that involves people in a way that we see from 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 above we see in a way that we judge what is happening to make the interpretation to make the the knowledge about it and what he's seen he's saying uh, his he's saying uh, Giddens is saying is that uh, we we need to put down our uh, our beliefs, our our illusions of power, to have this possibility of interpretation about others. So I think that's it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I think uh, more three or four videos. I finished this book. I hope you enjoy the playlist, and we see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, no, like the video, subscribe to the channels and ring the bell for notifications, take a look at the description below, comments and share the video, bye bye.